something like this. And that is a very, very powerful comment. I'm seeing that a lot where when your business is growing, there's a sense of denial that mm -hmm. your business is growing and you've got this uh, um, uh, investment and you're like, oh my gosh, I can't, I can't do that. I, I, can't, I can't invest in this because of the dollar amount. But in the long run, investment is an investment, right? You invest your money into something and you open up a whole new world in one area that makes it grow. So the finances is not going to be a problem in the future when you think of it as an investment. Speak to that to, a little bit, uh, to us a little bit. Well, I'm going to, I'm going to speak on your level and I'm, I'm going to do a disclaimer that I don't want to step on anybody's toes, but Ernesto, you've known me for 10 plus years now and you know that, um, I speak truth. And so, you know, guys, this is me. I'm, he knows me. This is my personality. I'm going to be really bold and really frank with you and speak into it. What I mean by that is when you talk to a potential client for your services and you've, you've made the relationship, you've created your relationship and you've created value, you've created for that client, I want and need those services. That is what's going to help me grow. Okay, then you get to the point where you start talking about your fees and they're like, ah! literally a deer in headlights. Okay, and, and the freeze. But then you begin to speak a little bit more on that about investing in themselves. Mm -hmm. I need you to think like a therapist when you when you come to do that consultation with me and realize that the investment is not only in your business, but it's in yourself. And that this, me, is I am not some just little virtual assistant out there that wants to make a little extra money at home. That's not me. So if that's what you need, and there are some awesome virtual assistants out there that can help you, then that's what you need to find. But if you are seriously needing to grow your business and you're seriously needing to have somebody speak into the business side of your business and help you grow and give you back some time to do the things you're called to do, then you need to talk to right. me. Right. But just as you need to show your client, Hey, I, I have spent, how many years doing my education? I've invested in my education. You all have student loans, right? Unfortunately. <laughs> Ouch, ugly word. Right. Um, but the investment in, in your business can help you pay those loans, right? Yeah, right. Um, then you, you need to do the same for yourself. You need to look at that you're not just spending money that you're investing in your business and in yourself. And that old phrase, you get what you pay for is truth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. And I, I vouch for that as well too, that when you start looking at it from an investment, because I've, I've invested in, in a business coach, I've invested in um, a bookkeeper, I've invested um, in, in those areas. And people have invested in, in, in dropping a lot of money, too, for promotional videos. And I see them emailing and posting on social media, hey, I got a client. I've got two clients because of the video that you created. This is a great investment. Looking at it from that perspective, you know, um, there is an abundance mentality. I think the scarcity mentality is I can't let this money go because I don't, I don't know. You know, when you have your own business, unfortunately, you have to take some risk. Yeah. And you're going to need support. Um, and you have to look at things from a, a certain investment perspective. Going to uh, setting aside uh, um, what you can't do and what you shouldn't be doing as a clinician, as opposed to doing everything and being overwhelmed. Now, there's a lot of people that do that. Um, and I, I certainly am guilty of doing all of that. But now I'm kind of like at that point where 
as your business grow, I'm sorry, you can't do all these things. So, um, you know, in a few months, uh, Francis, you and I will be talking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And, you know, it's, it's like we said earlier, your business is going to grow. And sometimes whether you're ready or not, so you need to jump on board with your business. Yeah. And, but, you know, I, I'm definitely noticing that now. And I think, you know, you, we've already, we always talked about this and I've always been in denial. Of, okay. You know what? It's just going to stay stagnant. I can handle this, but it's like, okay, how far can you really take this? Right. So that's self-disclosure, my part. Yeah. How many times have I asked you, Indra, so when do you sleep? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> we know you eat <laughs> and we know that you fly. <laughs> and we know that you do live video, but when do you sleep? <laughs> right. Oh my goodness. That's a question of the year, right? <laughs> right, right. Exactly. You know, and I just want to say, um, I have a, one of my clients who is like, Oh my God, I love her. Um, I love all my clients actually. Um, but we're, we've been, I've been working with her, coaching with her. And then we also do a, uh, her phones and scheduling for her. Um, probably uh, about maybe eight months now. And when she came to me, she was working a full-time job and she was also working in her practice, trying to build it. And she was just like, Oh, all over the place and crazy. And, you know, and so she said, yeah, I need this help. And she invested. And um, so we have uh, we have a standing weekly appointment that we work together with and just and i'll disclose it's on wednesday morning so just this morning we talked and she said you she said i just need to always forever and ever work with you and she said since i have started working with you i quit my full-time job mm. i have filled up my caseload. She now is full. She can't take any more clients. She hired um, a clinician and her clinician is now full. And that clinician is now in full, not only giving her money, but paying for the services that she buys from me. She just now added her second clinician. Wow. So she's like, it, there's just it's a no-brainer really right, right absolutely and a lot of clinicians think like that too this client can pay for this you know and this client can pay for that i mean i don't know about you but you know i, I think that way i look at my finances you know i uh, everything's on a spreadsheet on where everything is going and i recently within the past two and a half years have started doing that because you know this is this is another podcast uh, at another time, but you know, right. I grew up with with people who didn't know what to do with money. I right. mean, that's my thing. Now it's like everything's okay. Where's this coming from? Where's this going? And recently made a few adjustments financially, and I look at it from a perspective of okay, I've got this client and this client that's paying for this, and this is going to pay for that. I I need to think like that, right. contrary to popular belief. Okay. I do think in structures. <laughs> I do. I do think in structures. It's not like, oh, I come up with an idea. Hey, let me go with that. Let me go fly there. Yeah, just don't talk to my bookkeeper because uh, <laughs> you know he, he he's probably stressing out with all these receipts that I give him and you know, in the shoebox. <laughs> Here it is. Take it. <clears throat> um, but you make a very good point where we kind of have to look at it from a perspective of this money is set aside for this to pay for for the online business manager for the website for the promotional video for all of these and that's just good you know money management on where things are going you know? yeah but you know the key to that ernesto is um it's such a it's such a great point that you make but starting where to start and how to get to that point is the key. And, and what I want to bring out in that is that she took the risk in the beginning to, before she could get to the point where that clinician pays for my services, she took the risk to invest, to start working with me. So she, not even a year later, seven, eight months, she's now at that place where she can say, 
I don't even have to worry about it because my clinician is paying for your services and she's and she continues to grow. So it's that first initial step, you know, off the cliff or out the door or whatever you want to call it that I think um, some need a little bit of help and support in going, okay, it is going to be in the beginning, I have to, I have to figure out where, what, well, let me just put this in. One of the things I used to say to potential clients on the phone in doing in, intake calls was when they talked about, and I know that person had the money, okay? I know on the other end of the phone that they, it wasn't about they didn't have the money, or maybe they had some of it, but they couldn't figure out. So one of the things I would say to them is, this is an investment in yourself. So where can you adjust to be able to start this therapy or service so you can see growth in your life? Mm -hmm. So sometimes it is a matter of looking at your spreadsheet, like you said, and going, okay, I've got this, 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 and this. Is this really critical? Or, you know, can I adjust this here and this there and make this happen? Yeah. You know? Yeah. And I think a lot of clinicians do that in the very beginning of the year where they go, okay, we have this much for the quarter, uh, the money to allow or to allot in um, you know, marketing or whatever it is. And I, I do that. I look at you know, the beginning of the year, I'm going to stick to this with this quarter. This is how much I have and all of those things. And I think that's just really good money management. And, you know, like you said, a lot of clinicians, Sometimes they don't do that. They they just look at their bank account and go, oh my gosh, I can't come up with it. But if you make some adjustment, as you said, you can actually somewhat fit things in, right, in taking those risks. But so what I'm hearing from you, Francis, is that you kind of have that conversation with them and go, okay, before we, we move forward, and I know that there's a lot of hesitation when I ha you have to uh, uh, um, pay for this amount a month. What can you adjust so that you can allow yourself the wiggle room to grow? Well, it's either that question or how can I help you see a way to increase your, your um, budget to be able to include my services? So in other words, how many, how many more sessions a week would it take for you to be able to afford my services? Right. So, okay. Like we said, it's probably going to be about four additional clients a month yeah. per month, not even per week to be able to begin, you know, to start to afford the services. Yeah. And the other, I'm sorry to cut you off, Francis, but the other, the other thing too, that I just realized is that the conversation of how much time are you spending on the things that I can help you with right oh five hours a week what in the world that's five hours you can use to put clients in there and i think that's what you're saying right exactly exactly and you know if you sit down and really do the math i mean like i'm talking calculator math you know or if you're gifted enough in your head it's not me um then you'll begin to go oh wow so the assistant that's doing all the work, me, is worth, let's say, $125 an hour. So what's 125 times five? And that's how much I'm spending right. doing this stuff. Other thing, right. And, and, and that time is money. I mean, exactly. it's no joke. Um, I remember when I, you know, I, I go to camera shops a lot. I spend <laughs> really? hours in there, Best Buy, mm -hmm. Sam's Camera, just to walk around. I'm thinking, I, there's one time when I thought to myself, I could be working right now. Uh -huh. And I justified in my head where I am working. I'm looking at the new cameras. I'm looking at things to buy, right? I'm like, wait a minute, you don't need any other things. You can pull the videos off just, you know, with the cameras you have. But, you know, that's another thing that I think a lot of us have to work into is time is money. A lot of the successful individuals out there, they know what to do with their time, right? Um, so really, really great stuff that you're doing, Francis. And I really do appreciate you coming on <clears throat> and providing and educating us about your, your valued, valued service. So again, 
Um, Francis, is there any last words, any encouragement, anything that you'd want to say to the people, the filmic.com listeners? Um, well, the first thing I want to say is you guys are amazing. And thank you so much for welcoming me into your world, even into the groups and, and on Facebook, because I know that um, not being a clinician sometimes is, um, it's like, oh, do we let her in? Do we let her in? But I want to thank you for that, first of all. And I think the work that you do is so incredibly needed. It is, I, I believe you guys are special. You're called specifically, each individual, to do this work. And you need to have the support that you deserve um, to be able to continue to do that work. And the bottom line is, is that's what it's really all about, you know, is, is you being able to, to bring the help and the hope mm -hmm. to your clients so they become better people. They become better people in their community. The community becomes better, which they come, become then a city and a state in the world. And where we are today, this world needs that. And, and it's about the relationships and the love. So I know that sounds a little mushy and blah, 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 whatever, so, but that's okay. But I just want to say, you know, to really look at it as investing in yourself investing in your business and know that if you work with me and I may not be that perfect fit and that's okay. But if you do work with me, I'm going to give you the best that I have to offer and you won't be sorry. Yeah. And I know that for a fact. I mean, you've, you've oh. always been a very, very dedicated and loyal individual. Um, and you've saved my butt a few times um, throughout. <laughs> my <internet. laughs> this is true. <laughs> Yeah, this is true stuff right here. And I was just going to say, now that you disclose to the world that you're out there spending three hours in the camera shop, we can now hold you accountable for go back to work and spend that time. Oh, I know. Right. And all the times when I'm eating and posting, oh, right. yeah, you know, all those things. Um, Francis, it's an honor to have you in my life. It's been really fun, um, you know, seeing you grow and you know, for all of you listeners, I, I, I cannot say enough how great working with Frances is and how much of a support she is. And you notice, you know, she's, she's fun. She's, she's I am. a smile, right? And I congratulations do. on Lily, little granddaughter. Oh, thank you. She's 18 months old now, and she is, she sings E-I-E-I-O. So when we <laughs> sing with her, she says E-I-E-I-O. Um, but it's, it's a blessing. She's really a cutie pie. Yay. Awesome. Awesome. So Francis, again, thank you so much for all of you listeners. I will have her, the link to her website. I will have her phone number um, and how to contact her. You will have no questions uh, on how to get a hold of her. And so I highly recommend that if you are growing and you need to grow with your, uh, uh, with your business, don't do it alone. I would mm -hmm. highly recommend that you reach out to Francis yeah. um, for any support that you need to grow your business. Awesome. And Ernesto, we love you. Uh, <laughs> thank you. I guess we'll end with that one because I kind of like that one. <laughs> oh, he always gets the last word, right? <laughs> right. So anyway, anybody, this is Ernesto again and Francis, licensed marriage and family therapist here and uh, creator of filmit.com. Thank you so much, so much for listening. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.